Hi guys, Matt here. Um, today I wanted to talk a little bit about something that I've recently learned uh, regarding Starsan. Um, for the few weeks that I've been using Starsan, I've always just used tap water. Um, I mean, it says nothing on the bottle about which kind of water to use or not to use. Um, so, I've been using tap water, um, sanitising my kegs, fermenting vessels and all the equipment that I use presuming that uh, sanitize, sanitization was bit successful however um, recently I found out on a forum that with Starsan being an acid based sanitizer if you use your tap water and your tap water is particularly hard and full of alkali then the alkali will neutralize the acid in the Starsan rendering the star sun completely useless. Now if you're unsure about your water and you don't have a test kit or you don't want to go out and buy a test kit there is a test you can do. Now I've got two pint glasses there so 500 mils in each. In that container there I've got um, water from a three stage reverse osmosis filter that I had from when I had a marine aquarium. Um, that is supposed to be fine to use. Um, some bottled water is fine to use. Um, you can use carbonate reducing solution in some bottled water uh, that doesn't that is not suitable for the um, star sun. Um, and a good way to find out if it's not is to do this test. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to fill this glass with tap water and this glass with the RO water. So, run the cold tap. And I want as close to 500ml as I can. So we can do a fair test. So there's the tap water. Turn the tap off. Okay, now in this other glass, I'm going to pour the RO water. Okay, so the glass on the left is tap water, the glass on the right is reverse osmosis water. Um, you can't really see a difference between the two, they look exactly the same. So I'm going to take the top off the star sun, and I've got a syringe here. Um, these are what the chemists give you for oral medicines for children. Um, so they've come quite in handy now, I don't use these, now my kids will take medicine from spoons so um, what I'm going to do is star sand have said that it's 1.6 mil of star sand to a litre of water um, a lot of people will round it up to 2 mils um, for the sake of this experiment I'm going to um, take 7.5 mils and insert that into each water. So, let's draw a sample. Right, so I've got 5, 6, there. Okay, so I'm going to put this into the arrow water first. Suck up a bit more of that water. Spread the rest out. Okay, then I'm going to take the same amount again. I've got 1.5, 7.5. Put that into the tap water. Now, I don't know if you can see this, but already that water is going cloudy. That RO water is still crystal clear. That water has gone totally cloudy now. Just gonna get a spoon. Stir that one. And see that swirling around, turning a milky cloudy colour. Same spoon into the RO water. Still absolutely crystal clear. The one on the left, the tap water, 
milky white. Now what they say is, if your tap water or the water you're using for star sand turns that colour, the acid in the star sand has been neutralised by the alkali in your tap water, thus rendering it totally ineffective and its bacterial killing properties seriously compromised. Um, they didn't say whether it would work for a short amount of time. Uh, they say the quicker, however, it turns your water cloudy, the less chance you've got of it having any killing effect whatsoever. Um, that water is still crystal clear. That is getting cloudier by the second. That water, if you stored that and tried to sanitise stuff, say in a spray bottle, you'd be wasting your time because it wouldn't be doing anything. That will keep good for a long time because that's reverse osmosis water. So what I would recommend to you to do if you're using star sand is to either go out and get yourself a three stage RO filter or something like that um, use bottled water do this test on your bottled water that you buy if obviously if the bottled water turns cloudy then it's no good or you could use the carbonate reducing solution um, I think it's is it's some sort of acid, I can't remember what it is, uh, that will um, reduce the alkali in the water and then you'll be able to use it. My RO filter, it was really cheap, it was about £40, so I think that's about $70-$80 um, for a three-stage filter. The filters last a year under heavy use and I, mine's not getting heavy use, so it's, it's cost effective, the filters aren't expensive to replace anyway. Um, so yeah, so there you go. Test your water like I've just done there. If it tends cloudy, your water's no good and your sanitizing is going to be seriously compromised. However, if it stays crystal clear, your water's good to go and you've got nothing to worry about. The other test you can do if you've got a pH testing kit is that the solution with the star sending wants to remain about 3 pH. If it goes above that, it's been neutralised and it's gone into the alkali and it's seriously ineffective. Um, yeah, bit of a boring science lesson. However, it could save people a lot of wasted batches of beer, or wine, or whatever. Um, and also saves you wasting star sand because star sand is not the cheapest thing to buy. Um, so yeah, thanks for watching. Sorry it was a bit boring, but I hope it's of use to you. Take care. Bye bye.